Hello, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is Jason from SoftIn. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the latest updates that we have just published to our uh, our cloud server, right? So first feature would be email reports. If you are a hotel manager who uses our email reports, like sending yourself the daily night audit updates, um, the daily cash collection reports, uh, we have upgraded this feature. Uh, from the top navigation bar, go to set up report email and it will bring you to this new uh, report setup uh, wizard. You know? uh, moving forward, you may actually send to multiple users, for example, in one configuration and uh, you are in control on how frequent you want the reports to be sent to your email. Um, like the um, the manager could have this on a daily basis or maybe the owner could have it on a monthly basis. So uh, in this report, um, you may also choose which property you would like to include in the email. Um, in my case, I am now looking at just one property. Of course, you can actually add more property as you go. Um, and these are the reports available for you to be included in the recurring uh, email. Okay. Um, Take for example, I'm a hotel manager and I'm interested to have the night audit summary being sent to my email on a daily basis. So here's how I configure it, right? And once I save these changes, um, at uh, every day uh, on the daily basis, I will receive an email uh, report that reads like this to my email, okay? Uh, which the report will come in an Excel file and uh, it will automatically be sent to the designated emails, right? So that would be the first feature. Okay, second feature, we, uh, we introduced a new feature called click to share. So uh, I come across this, uh, we came about this idea as we work on the reports while, you know, we read the reports, we filter, we choose certain date range, and very often we wanted to share that rep same report that we are looking at on our screen with our colleague, right? Before this, if the way, the only way for you to share is by copying the URL and share it with your colleague. But there's a catch. If you share it using this way, uh, your colleague wouldn't be able to see the filter that you have just did. For example, I am looking at the internet payment for 26, I mean yesterday, and but if I were to share this URL with your, uh, with my colleague, they wouldn't be able to see 26 internet account, but they will have to do the filter themselves. So that's how we came about this idea to introduce this button called uh, click to share. So moving forward, um, say I have, I'm looking at 23rd and I'm looking at the report which cover internet account. And when I click this URL and I share it with my colleague, right, they would be able to see the exact same report filtered to the exact same data that I'm looking on my screen. So this is in particular useful. I think uh, you could see that uh, this report now points to 23rd and uh, filtered to internet account. So we have introduced this click to share buttons in most of our reports and uh, if I'm not mistaken, most all of it, right? And um, this is particularly useful at this era because some of us, you know, work from home, you know, we, uh, the easiest way to communicate, you know, um, and it's via a uh, shareable link. And I found this useful as I could actually uh, work faster as it, like, I could filter to specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, transactions that I'm looking at and I could actually share it with my uh, co-workers and have them look at the transactions and verify it, right? So, uh, like I said, the same uh, features will be available uh, in some most of the reports. As you can see here, this is another uh, click to share button uh, on the reservation report, right? So, um, if you if you are keen to know more about this latest updates, uh, feel free to go to our uh, knowledge base. Uh, here we summarize. Uh, all the latest features in this release okay and uh, that brings me to the third uh, feature okay the third feature that we introduced this time is uh, payment and tax mapping right what is what I meant by 
payment and tax mapping right so if you notice uh, uh, if you are using soft in channel manager we have just made it better basically uh, when it, when a guest made a payment on bookings.com for example uh, through the channel manager reservation will be synced to your PMS right okay so this is uh, what we have been doing so far and with this latest upgrades uh, the payment you you have you are in control on how you wanted the payment to be recorded you know for take for example I wanted the payment that came from bookings.com to be mapped to my bookings.com payment account so the accounts department would have a better idea how much uh, the payments has been received through bookings.com right so and with this payment account mapping uh, you have you are in control of how you want the, the payment being mapped to your accounts okay so this is an uh, how to get to do the payment account uh, mapping um, you navigate to set up general booking source and connectivity and here you will see the uh, you know, OTA the channels and these are the section where you perform the tax mapping and also payment account mapping right so take for example uh, my colleague here has uh, she has already added the tax mapping for from Agoda and also the payment account mapping for uh, Agoda so my company works with bookings.com for example now I could actually look at bookings.com and I wanted bookings.com payment to be record to specifically bookings.com account so once I save this right all the future reservations and the amount and the guest payment will be recognized under the payment account so uh, once this uh, is being set up right uh, you will get to see uh, how it looks like in your for example tax report and also your payment uh, collection summary report uh, take for example um, in the collection summary report you get to see the payment uh, received through the payment uh, you know the, the account that you have just mapped for example uh, I have just mentioned my colleague map it to Agoda right so any payments coming from Agoda will be recognized here okay the same uh, is applicable for tax you know so you may declare your uh, tax setting on OTA and with this mapping right you you would be able to actually map the collections for example for SST to your SST uh, collection report right so uh, the same works for both tax like I say both for both tax and also for payment right uh, if you wanted to know uh, further details on how to set this up right uh, go to blog.mysoftin.com under the learning center type tax mapping right so uh, my colleague Ifa has just uh, compiled this step-by-step uh, -step guides and also video guides on how to perform the tax mapping right so uh, I, I guess uh, that's all for this week and uh, stay tuned and we have some very exciting integrations announcement uh, soon right thanks for watching